Grand Rapids is one of the top healthcare and life science regions in the nation. Grand Rapids is top 10 city artistic boom. Grand Rapids is Beer City, USA. Grand Rapids is top 10 city for biopharmaceutical research and investment. <laughs> okay, is that enough? Hello and welcome to the Grand Rapids Real Estate Show. I'm Rhonda, your host and tour guide. Together, Brian and I travel across West Michigan to provide you with insight on properties that we find extremely unique or of particular value in today's market. With the help of our newly developed video app, we bring the homes to you for your convenience, providing you with a completely narrated virtual tour of the property for a realistic perspective of the property and its features. We're so excited to have you view our most recent episodes, so take a look and leave us some feedback when you're done. Hi, this is Rhonda and Brian with the Grand Rapids Real Estate Show at showgrandrapids.com. We were on the road again and found another amazing piece of property. We're in Ionia, Michigan, and we're standing in front of 8931 Prairie View Drive. This home is a solid brick home listed for 369. It sits on seven acres and it has five bedrooms, three baths. It is just an exceptional find out here because there's an additional 48 acres available. We'll tell you about those acres as we go through the tour. But for now, we'd like you to come inside and see what a beautiful home this is. Welcome, you are entering into the front door of this home. We are in the foyer area, which has a beautiful granite tiled floor and a wonderful ceiling that is landscaped in mirrors. Nice chandelier. And you enter into the living room area, which it's very nice light colors. And as we tour this room, you will see off to the left that you have a bay window to let in nice lighting. Nice louvered shades are on there. You have a fireplace in the center of the room. And we have beam structure throughout this living room that's very sharp. Nice light painted beams. Off to the right we have a wet bar and a very unique lighted cove for decorating. We also have two sliders that lead off onto a deck which overlooks the swimming pool and we will get to that later in our tour. We want to take you into the kitchen next. I'm now bringing you into the kitchen area of this home. The flooring is still granite tile just like it was in the foyer. To your left here is a built-in china hutch. And as you come into this area there is this amazing breakfast nook. Lots of windows to let in lighting, but also a view of the pool and the tennis courts. You have a door that exits off here onto the deck. And I have to show you this really cool little toaster built in the wall here in your breakfast nook. Very fun. And then you come into the work area of the kitchen. We have a double stove which is great for entertaining and cooking for lots of people. A big space here for a refrigerator. We have a surface top stove here, microwave, and the counters are granite, all up-to-date colors, beautiful cabinetry. We have a new sink and new plumbing hardware, nice colors. Down the hall here is the entrance into the garage. It's a three-stall garage with drains in the floor. And immediately off from the garage door is a bathroom with still the matching granite countertops. Then we take you off from the kitchen here into the dining room. It's a beautiful room for entertaining. Check out these doors, they're very cool. As we enter into the dining room, you can see that it's well lit with a nice window and soft lighting and lots of space for a large table. And then when you exit the dining room, you end up back into the living room. And now I want to take you to the back of the house where the bedrooms are and the laundry room. Come this way and follow me. I'm taking you into the bedroom area on the main floor of this house. It comes off from the foyer 
and down the hallway. Our first room to the right is a sitting room or library. Nice private space. Our next room is the laundry room. Has beautiful tiled floor. A brand new LG washer and dryer. Lots of cabinet space in here for storage. Plenty of countertop for folding. Its own utility sink. And an ironing board mounted on the wall. We're now entering the master bedroom. I love this bedroom. You have to come in and see all the great features. This property is surrounded by very mature trees. So as you come into this room, you have nice lighting, but at the same time privacy if you want to keep your window drapes open. We have a deck that leads off the bedroom, slider onto the deck. We have a fireplace in the bedroom, cable, TV. And as you come into this way, you are entering into the private bathroom. The tile flooring in here matches the laundry room, which I just love about a home when they keep everything flowing with the colors. We have a double sink, large mirror, a jacuzzi jet bathtub. You enter into a private area, separate with a door for a shower and stool. And when you come back out, you have a personal makeup area and then a door that enters into a large walk-in closet with lots of storage. When you come back out from the bathroom, you enter into the master bedroom. And we come down on the right side of the hallway, you enter into a bathroom that leads off from the hallway. Again, the tile flooring matches. It has its own tub shower unit, two sinks. This bathroom has its own entry into a, another bedroom, which a view off this bedroom is looking over the pool and tennis court area. This bedroom also has a great walk-in closet, large space, again, for storage. I'm gonna take you back out this way. And we have two double closet here for coats and storage off from the foyer. And then I wanna bring you downstairs. I have to show you 2,000 square feet downstairs. You're coming down the steps into the basement of this home. Remember, there's over 2,000 square feet down here, and it is built for entertainment. We have a double sliding glass door that leads outside to a beautiful patio, swimming pool area. We have a fireplace in this room. We have an area here that upstairs would be the breakfast nook. So directly below here is a setup that would be great for a card table. Still have windows outside to let plenty of light in. And as you circle around here, this is a pool table area. There is a bathroom off from this room. And we have a wet bar area with a refrigerator set up and sink. And now I wanna take you into the back area of the basement where there are two finished bedrooms. One has a fireplace and there's a completely furnished bathroom down this hallway with a shower. And off in here is our utility room. This home is equipped with great features. We have a water purification system, two hot water heaters, a water softening system, and a geothermal heating and cooling system in this home. This keeps your home at an even temperature by using water from the outside to heat and cool the home. This basement is very dry and clean. Now, I wanna take you outside and look at the property here. It is beautiful. Let's see all the great features outside. 
Check out this amazing deck. You are coming off from the breakfast nook area of the house. First of all, this deck is low maintenance because it's composite style. So you have easy cleanup, no painting. You also have two sliders that come off the living room, bring you out to this deck area, and then you get to look at this amazing view. We've got an in-ground swimming pool surrounded by tile. Great patio area for entertainment. There's an entranceway to this back patio area from the backyard with beautiful landscape steps that come down into a gated wrought iron gate. And we have a slide, a very fun curly slide for the pool and diving board. And on the back wall, there is a brick wrought iron gate entrance into the tennis courts. The tennis courts are lighted for night use. And remember, we're sitting on seven acres out here with very mature trees. It's just very private. There also is a hot tub on this patio area. And the deck extends along the back of the house all the way back to the master bedroom where there's sliders to bring you out onto the deck there as well. Lots of shade back here. And then we have a wrought iron gate that brings us down a cool curly staircase. We're on the back patio and I'm going to give you a tour of some of the landscaping in the backyard. There is a separate utility room for the heated pool, for maintenance of the pool and storage area. And this is the wrought iron gate I was talking about that brings you down from the yard into the pool area. I'd like to bring you through this way because it's just so pretty. It's very secluded and the landscaping is very mature. There are a lot of things you could do with this backyard for entertainment. We're coming up um, around the back side of the house. We have a porch area that's off from the garage. Again, we're at the back of the house. Lots of landscaping put in. And off to the right, we have a detached two stall garage. And we have a swing set. basketball court and a three stall garage that is attached to the house. Remember I told you there's an additional 48 acres to this property. We're entering into that area off from the driveway here. It's paved blacktop drive coming back in here. This property has seven wells on it and some outer storage buildings, one to the right here. Could be used for horses. <coughs> um, we have just lots of seclusion. It's gorgeous back here. And it's just amazing that it's even paved. That's an expense in itself. The total amount listed on this property for the 55 acres, including the house, is 599000 But if you consider just the size of the home that we went through, it would cost half that to have the home built. Here we have another outer building. And then the additional property off in the distance here. We're hoping to load an aerial view for you to see the exact layout of the parcels. Thank you for taking this tour with us today with the Grand Rapids Real Estate Show. Again, we're at property 1831 Prairie View Drive in Ionia, Michigan. So, wow! What'd you think about that property? Pretty cool, huh? Well, there's more where that came from, and you don't want to miss this next one, so stay tuned. Hey, this is Rhonda and Brian. We're on the road with the Grand Rapids Real Estate Show. 
We like to take you guys to some interesting and unique properties and we found one out here in Byron Center, Michigan. I'm going to take you on this piece of land. It's 19 acres of beautiful, wooded, secluded, rural um, value. And as I come up in here, I remember there's kind of an interesting story to the previous owner. What was it again, Brian? Well, the original owner spent over $3 million on this property and improvements in this area and uh, borrowed a good amount of that from the bank. And when asked why he built such a huge facility that is more like an office building or a church than a home, his answer was, because I can. Well, the economy and um, some time led to some difficulties, and ultimately the bank took the property back. About a year ago, a local investor um, from this area has purchased it, and repaired or replaced a lot of the things that were taken out of the property. Here's the seven acres in the middle of it right now to restore it basically to where somebody can take it from here and restore it for their use. Oh yeah, I can totally see this place being changed um, into something like maybe a winery, a brewery, um, office complex, maybe even a sports complex maybe an educational facility. It's just um, construction-wise very sturdy. It's poured concrete walls. You have uh, steel roofing. It is absolutely beautiful back here. I have to take you inside and show you this unique building. Okay, well now that I've got you out here, you need to take a look at the size of this building. It's 20,000 square feet on two floors we contacted the original contractor who built it and he said today it would cost 2.5 million to rebuild it. Remember we're sitting on 19 acres and he's just talking about the facility itself. Um, we're going to throw out some ideas to you that we've thought of for the use of this property but remember that it is zoned agricultural and you would have to contact the township to get approval on any of your ideas. Some of the things we've thought of is an educational facility, a training center, um, some commercial uses might be to put a winery here, a brewery, or a restaurant. With all the surrounding farm property, you could grow crops on it to use in a restaurant. Um, some other ideas are a sports complex, or a church, or just a business office complex. Um, we'd like to give you a tour of the inside, but we need to have you fill out a form that comes down on the screen with just your name and email, and we don't share that information with anyone else, but I'd like to take you inside. So if you could do that, come on in and follow me. You know, I talk a lot in this video about uses for this property, but its original intent was for a home. Just take a look at the beautiful scenery here. It really would be an, an absolute fabulous home. It's got a very unique architecture shape to it. As we move up the driveway here, you get a really good idea for the feel of the outside. I would say too that it's low maintenance being that it's uh, concrete. Got beautiful landscaping all around, full mature trees in the front yard. And as you come up to the front porch area, you could actually um, create a gazebo type entrance here or keep it the way it is. It's very contemporary. And we got the steel roofing, so you've got solid lifetime roofing. And you know, we've done, they've done some nice landscaping here to get you started. And we also have a beautiful hardwood front door. And it's, and it's gotta be about 16 feet tall. <laughs> you are now entering the main front door of this building. You're coming in on the main floor, and this is the foyer area. You have to take a look at the really unique design with the steel beams and the tin uh, roof. 
Very tall ceilings. We're estimating they're 28 feet tall. You're coming into limitless possibilities. We have 10,000 square feet here. And it's lined with windows at the top of the building that let in natural light. We're sitting secluded out here in 19 acres. Beautiful view out all the windows of the woods. We're thinking as we tour this building of all the possibilities such as a business setting, office space, community center, a sports complex, maybe even a brewery. It's got a great industrial contemporary feel inside and lots of possibility because we're full of electric all over the flooring, on the walls. We have cable here throughout the whole building. There are four bathrooms upstairs here, plumbed, and there's all little outcoves of storage. And I have to take you off into the next area where we will show you um, some of the private areas of the upper floor. We're now taking you into the back rooms of the main floor of this building. The whole main floor is 10,000 square feet and this whole area is about 2,000 square foot. Again, notice all the electric available in these rooms. Could be separated into small offices, hair salon, business center, training center. There's plenty of availability for plumbing. And again, you have a lot of light coming in, a lot of window space. Another separate room here, again with electric and plumbing. Good for storage or separate offices and possibly living quarters. As we exit out this door, we come into the main room again. Another separate walled room. This house is all trimmed in white. And as you come in this area, we come to a open staircase that leads us down to the basement of this building. We're now coming downstairs in the lower part of the building and you have to notice this very cool staircase. We've got an industrial look with the metal and the wood for the steps. It really leads to a very inviting area for let's say a brewery or a banquet center. And off to your right here there are all windows bringing in lots of light for a lower basement area of a building. You get to see the rural setting outside. This building's very functional, has, has uh, industrial style doors that you can bring in large equipment down here. Plenty of floor space. Off here on the right is a thousand square feet alone of just space. Then we open up into another big area with 3,000 square feet. Plenty of electric on the floors, walls, cable throughout. Could be used for a training center, um, office space. There's many things here that um, the township would love to meet with you about and, and see what you could do with this building. Lots of opportunities. I'm going to take you out into the garage area now. Behind me is the open staircase and we are headed this way to show you a former workshop. So I want to take you back in here. Again, there's plenty of electric in this room, light coming in, two industrial doors to bring in equipment for a workshop, possibly, or again, just storage. It's a very secure building. It has a um, secure ADT system currently set up in it. As we come back out in this area, there is another staircase that brings you back up to the main floor. and then out here into the garage. We have four large garage doors with plenty of drainage in the floor for water. We enter off 
the garage into a bathroom that has a shower in it. This building has a real um, modern or industrial feel to it. There are separate rooms off the garage here that could be used for work rooms. Very clean, freshly painted. We have a heat pump exchange system throughout the whole building in all the walls and floors. We will show you the room that that runs out of shortly. It's just effective. It helps keep the building at an even temperature. Another storage room. And another storage or work room. As we enter into this hallway, it brings us back around to the main room. The building has lots of spots to store things. Um, and again, we're just excited to see what could be done with this uh, amount of space here. You are now entering an area off from the large floor space on the lower level that could be used for possible living quarters. We have three separate rooms connected here that could be served as office, or bedroom. We have a bathroom in this room with plenty of storage, a tub unit, and this room's carpeted, new paint, large windows. Again, you get a great view of the outside. Plenty of electric in here. And again, we have more storage in this room. We are on the east side of the building where the driveway comes around to a large cement area. The retaining wall shows you that it is a walkout style building. It has a lower level with all glass that's walkout. Here are four stalls for a garage. And we have a workroom off here, the garage area. And again, we're going to go over this way and show you the outside patio. We are looking at seven acres of woods that sits in the middle of this 20 acres of property. We are actually on the back side of the building right now, which has a large cement patio. Could be used for tables picnic area, could still hold uh, meetings out here. It's very secluded, very inviting. Just a real peaceful uh, serenity feeling out here. We're in the utility room of this large building where the two large hot water heaters are, your heat pump system. It's a clean room, easy to access. You can get in from uh, the main door from the outside. You've got your large electrical boxes and plenty of space. I'm so glad you could join us on this episode of the Grand Rapids Real Estate Show. We hope to see you again soon at showgrandrapids.com. Oh, and be sure to like us on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Grand Rapids Real Estate Show. Goodbye for now.